Hi, I'm Max Perez from Digital Octopus, and today we're gonna be installing this DO2 on this fifth gen Camaro. Follow me and let's get started. All right, guys, so here we are inside the car, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull out this old unit here, and I'm gonna leave a link in the description because I've already touched this uh, uh, part of the video, which is removing the original head unit, which is this one here. So I will leave a, a link in the description so you guys could go ahead and, and know how to take this out. All right, guys, so this is the DO2, and this is the old head unit, and I'm just gonna put them side by side so you can see the difference. Uh, obviously, the AC remotes, everything still remains the same. The only difference is gonna be, you're gonna have a larger screen here. So uh, once we get this swapped in, it should fit right in. You can see the color is a perfect match. This one is a little bit glossier, but then again, this one is, is very worn down because it's been here, you know, this is a 2012, so it's been uh, 11 years that this radio has been here. So there you go. As you can see, the knob is, is came apart. You know? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead, take this out and then we're gonna install the new one all right all right guys so here we are and obviously i've done a lot of installation videos already on this particular vehicle because this is our vehicle that we use uh, for the company and we've installed the cc 1015 do 1015 the dots right in this particular one so a lot of the wires it, the wiring was already done i took some of it out so i could just show you guys how to redo it again but um like for example we have our our antenna which is the the long stick right here this is this antenna here this is the 4g antenna and that is the first wire we're gonna connect so we're just gonna stick that right into that plastic right back there and we're gonna put this wire uh, I'm gonna roll it up for now and just put it on the side so that's done already we have our main unit harness we have the ac harness so if your ac is not working it's most likely because this one's not connected and another one that i will show you later and then you should have two of these here you have a black one for am fm and then you have this uh kind of brownish one beige one and that is for your satellite antenna now you if you have a mining system you will have extra harnesses another one close to this one but that one is for the rear view camera and we have a, an adapter if you want to keep that rear view camera um, which is um, this plug and play so you will plug it in right here in the in the reverse camera and it'll go in behind the radio and I'll put a link on the description and I'll show you what that adapter looks like on the screen so we have our FM antenna so the next wire we're gonna do is the AM FM antenna a wire um, there is another video on in regards to this radio and it shows you how what everything does and where they plug into the radio so I suggest you look at that first before doing the actual installation so here is our AM FM antenna so we're gonna put that on the side right here the next one is the, the door chime and that looks like this. So usually it'll have a backing, we'll peel it off. This is glue right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick it right back there. And then we're just gonna stick it to the wall on the left hand side. And we're gonna have this wire hang, put it right on the side. We're gonna use that later to plug it behind the radio. Next we have our GPS antenna. So some of them have glue on the back. Some of them look like this. And it's not because we forgot to put glue, it's because this is a magnetic version. So it'll stick to any metal. So if you stick it on metal, it'll just stay right there. So for now, we're gonna put it right up here. As you can see, um, it's stuck right in. That should be just fine. It reads the, the signal perfectly. So we're gonna put that right in there. You could also run this uh, through your windshield and stick it somewhere up in the windshield. Uh, for me, this works just fine. So I'm just gonna leave it right, right in here. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the main unit, and this is like the brain of the radio. So like you had in the original one where you pulled that out, so that's gonna go right in there. But I'm, first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect these harnesses that go back here. This way we get everything working. So the first one we're gonna do is the 
is the main harness. This is the main RCA harness. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that right in there where it belongs. Again, uh, there is another video explaining what where all these wires go and how they plug in. But I just did it real quick. I took them out uh, so you guys can see what I'm doing. And then again, we have our main harness. That's this one here. Some Camaros will have the other connection, so you could use those connections here as well. This one doesn't have it, but if yours does, plug it plugs right in. We have a key one and key two. We're gonna leave that alone for now. And then this is the other wire that needs to be connected so your AC can work. So the first one we're gonna do is that small uh, green and purple wire. We're gonna plug that right over here. And it only goes in one way, so don't force it in. If it doesn't go in one way, just flip it around and it should slide right in. And then this is our main power. I'm gonna put that right in there. So we should be left with these wires right here, right? We're not gonna connect the microphone because we're gonna use the system uh, microphone that comes built into the Camaro, which is a good thing. All right, so the first one we're gonna grab here is the GPS antenna wire. This is the one we uh, put magnetically back there. And we're gonna put it right where it says GPS, which is that this top one here. So we're gonna screw that right in. Perfect. Next, we're gonna do our Wi-Fi 4G antenna, and that goes on the bottom where it's labeled 4G. Note guys, there it might be a different type of antenna. It doesn't necessarily have to be this one. Uh, this is a little small stick one that could go in here. So it does the same thing. Um, just so don't freak out if you get extra ones or it just looks different than the one I have installed here because that always changes, but they do the same job. It's the same thing. All right. So next we're going to connect our speaker, our door chime speaker, and that you can route this to the, to the main harness here. And then this one would be right around here somewhere. All right, so this is the the one that connects to the door chime. And again, it's male and female. Only fits in one spot, doesn't fit anywhere else. And the best way to find this, look, for, look at your canvas. This is the canvas here. And then this is this little white wire that, that comes out, black and white. We're gonna plug that right in here. It goes in one way and one way only. All right, so that's in. So now we have most of our things in. All we need to do is plug in our AM FM adapter, which is this one here. And this goes into this white, into this green uh, antenna port. So we're gonna push that right in. So that fits nice and snug right in there. And finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our OnStar system. So this way we could use the microphone and we're gonna use the wires labeled OnStar and we're gonna connect those to the auxiliary in the harness, in the main harness. So let me get these high wires out of the way. I know it looks like a lot of wires, but it really isn't. I just have a, um, I have them bundled up here. So it looks, it looks like it's a lot, but it's not. Uh, so we're gonna look for auxiliary, auxiliary R in, and then auxiliary L. So we find then we just gotta, here it is. So we're gonna use these two guys right here. We're gonna connect OnStar to auxiliary and OnStar to auxiliary. These other wires here, this is in case you have an aftermarket amp. This is the subwoofer that you can control from here. Um, I am gonna install the rear view camera. I already have a rear view camera on my glass up here but i have also on this vehicle a doc 1013 that i already have wired up so i'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so you can see uh, how the reverse camera works 
All right, so this is that wire that I'd have my DOC 1013 that looks just like this one here. This is the one that goes in the license plate. You can find this on our website, digitalactivistradio.com. That's in case you don't have a, a factory rear view camera that goes to the my link. So you could put that aftermarket one or you could do any aftermarket camera. Regardless, it's gonna come out to here. We're gonna plug in our RCA and then we're gonna plug the other piece, the other piece right into the back of the radio. It only fits in one spot, so it looks like it fits right on this one here. So push that right in. The rest don't need to be connected, however, I am gonna be connecting them. So the two that are missing here are the USB cables, and those are I'm gonna run to the glove compartment here. So this is that USB cable, and this is used in case we want to connect a drive where we want to transfer files or themes into the system. This is what we will use here, or you know, if you want to charge your phone, you could do it from there as well. So we're gonna plug that in right over here, and again guys i recommend you guys see the previous video of the unboxing where i show you guys how all of these wires connect and how they work in this configuration this is for 2012 uh with that basic radio that you guys saw if you have a another radio like the my link you're gonna have more options uh you have a usb extension that comes into your center console so to, to the center box here so you don't lose that connection so i recommend uh, you guys look at it so we're gonna have one usb and then a second usb we're gonna plug that in all right so now we have both usbs in here and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect our main harness and that goes right over here and that should slide in and then as you slide it in you see it closes down so just like the factory so that's plugged in now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in the power for the camera all right so we're gonna take the red wire and the blue wire from where the harness with all these uh, rcas are at again look at the installation videos for the dlc if you want to do this the right way uh, right now i'm just showing you guys real quick how it's done but i definitely recommend you go into my other videos where i show in details how they plug in and then uh, we're gonna put some tape on it of course i like to use tesla tape it looks uh factory you know it protects it real nice nice and soft so we're gonna put some Tesla tape right over here cover this up and I might just keep this system in my radio uh, back when I started this company this is what I envisioned the radio to look like I wanted the knobs I wanted everything I got a bunch of different options which were great I'm not gonna lie I love some of the options um, that we have uh, like the DOTS gives the car a whole new look so I'm actually using the, the charging plate from the DOTS in this radio still uh, but when I started the company this is what I envisioned uh, the, the DO radios to look like so finally came true and I'm definitely gonna keep this one in my car for a while. So, all right, so we're gonna push all these wires back. You know, just put them into place. Uh, make sure you don't squeeze any of them though. So just putting everything in order. And before I do that, I'm gonna push that in. Push that in here. And then we're gonna get our screws that we took out from the other videos. As you can see, they go right over here. And all we should have left is this wire at the bottom right here. So remember, put your screws back in here and the wire down here. So we have that left. All right, guys. Um, the next one, uh, if you pull this back right here, this is what we're going to need to do. If you see that plastic piece back there, it usually goes in. It, it, it sits in flush, but you know, I've done this so many times that it actually broke here, which, you know, it's no big deal because we need to push this back anyway. So let me get my hand out of the way so you can see. I'll get the light in there. So what we want to do is we got to get the radio between this plastic here and this plastic back here so it can fit nice and uh, flush. All right, so here it is. Here is our screen. 
and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in uh, the go right over here max we're gonna plug in is the ac wire can you see it right into the back piece right here so make sure that snaps in you should hear it click and now we have our our connector from the radio to the main system here i don't have this screwed in yet because i got to take this back out because i have to create another video for another install for another radio but again this is how it goes in so we're gonna slide it in And the way this goes is the metal parts stick out. So there's two parts, you have a gold and you have the metal. So we're gonna do the metal and there. So once we plug that in, the interface turned on. So I'm gonna go ahead and now in, in, uh, just put that plastic piece where I told you guys, so it feels nice and flush. So that's in. Just make sure all the wires are out of the way so this way when you lift it up it fits right into place and then lastly what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two screws that go down here which is uh, screw number one right over there screw number two right over there and one over here all right so we're gonna place this on the side all right so we're gonna power this baby on there it is. So this is our interface here. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna turn the AC because it's really hot in here. It's 95 degrees as you can see. I'm gonna create another video for you guys uh, on the, all the features and how all these buttons and what you could do with this radio. Uh, this Again, this is just an install video just to get you to this point. Um, that's my seatbelt sign going off. Uh, I'm gonna, I could press, you know, I could go over these real quick. So these are your AC, just like the original, but it's gonna show up here on the screen. You have your AC controller, you have your seat warmers, everything uh, built in right over here. So there's that seat warmer and it shows up right up right up there as well you have your lock and unlock everything's working we have our our hatcher lights which are these right here as you can see right there on the screen uh, this is another product that we sell on our website right now we have it on hold but um finally came to an agreement with our provider and we have some cool, cool updates coming up that nobody has only on Digital Octopus Radio. Customers will be able to get those updates. So uh, let me put the camera right back here. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching, so much for supporting Digital Octopus Radio. Uh, we're here for you guys anytime you need us. Um, just call us if you need anything the best way to reach us right now until we get our phone system uh 100 up and running is by going to digitaloctopusradio.com and just uh go in the chat section leave us a message and someone will answer you all right guys so this is it for today's video thank you for watching this is max perez with digital octopus visit us at digitaloctopusradio.com